Hi, this is Caroline from The Happy Sensitive, and today I want to chat with you about this uh, feeling, experience of having emptiness or a hole or some kind of lack inside. Because I hear, I hear people talking about this when they're talking about emotions and healing and healing work, and a lot of people will try and go and fill that hole. They're like, oh my God, there's some kind of lack or hole or something missing inside of me, so I have to go and find things to fill it with. Um, I have to go and you know find Jesus and fill it with the light from Jesus, or I have to go and find like healing light and fill it with healing light. And there's many healers who say this too. They're like, oh my God, you have to like fill the holes, otherwise bad things will come in. This is this is like all like um, upside down, really. This understanding of this this idea of a hole, because a hole or a lack or a feeling of that there's something missing is is an illusion in on a certain level. It's an illusion that there's not actually something missing, but there's either a limiting belief that you're not enough or that you don't have enough or that you don't do enough or that you're not, you know, some kind of looping program that's running inside of you that's saying that you have a lack and then your mind buys into it and it's like, yeah, yeah, I have a lack. I have to go find stuff to fill it with, you know? Or it can be grief as well. Like very often this sense of emptiness is actually just the top layer of what underneath is actually just a lot of grief, right? And on the surface, grief feels like there's a lack, there's a hole, there's an emptiness or something missing, right? The feeling of missing someone is grief. The feeling of missing something that you loved is grief. So very often there's something else going on underneath the surface when there is a sense of, you know, lack, hole, something missing. And if you go and chase after something to fill the hole with, all you're doing is amplifying that illusion that there's a lack and you're never going to have enough. You're never going to fill it enough to feel like you're done. And what it creates is a kind of addiction. Like now you need to permanently go and look for more stuff to fill your, your bottomless pit with, and that's not healthy. Um, so I just wanted to put that perspective out there because I hear people talking about this, I hear people worrying about this, I hear people buying into this, I hear healers talking about this, you know, that you need to fill yourself with light, otherwise bad things are gonna happen. No, like when you get to the bottom of whatever is creating that illusion of lack, whatever is creating that feeling of lack, and yes, there can be things you need to you know work through I'm not saying it's like a you know, flip of a switch and it's done, but when you get to the bottom of it, you find there was no lack. There is no missing. There is nothing wrong, there's nothing bad, but there's been this piling up of experiences and beliefs and feelings that create the sensation that there's a lack, that there's a hole, that there's something missing, and then it creates this illusion on the surface that there's just a hole that you need to fill. And like I said, the more you try to fill the hole, the more you're actually amplifying the illusion of the lack, the more you start to believe in the lack, the more you start to just uh, experience the lack, and the more you feel like you need to fill, and it just becomes this endless cycle. You just start running, 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 trying to fill the hole. So if you have an experience of a lack, of something missing, you feel like there's a hole, the first thing I would recommend is try to just notice what that feels like beyond what your mind has decided that it means because this is where you get stuck. You get stuck in the place where your mind's like, oh, I know what this is. I know what I need to do. No, you don't. You need to explore this further. If you'd like help with this, set up a clarity call with me so we can start exploring this. You know, I have all kinds of healing tools and practices that can help you with this. But what I really wanted to share in this video is just this idea that, you know, what looks like a hole, what looks like a lack, what looks like a missing is not necessarily what it seems and you know just trying to fill it with something that seems to fill it is not going to solve the problem all right i hope this was helpful thanks for listening bye bye